Hi, this is Shaz from RC Corner team. Most of the time people are confused which payload they should select for their scenario, which payload is best for their project. So in the last few years, DJ has introduced P1 camera, L1 camera that were used for the surveying and mapping. And recently, DJ has introduced the L2 camera also. So today we are going to discuss which one is best for our use. Let's take start with the P1 camera. The P1 camera using traditional camera sensor which take tons of images and later on they are combined together to make a 3D image. That's why it looks more like a traditional camera. On the other hand, L1 and L2 does not. While also it incorporates traditional image capture technology. It uses LiDAR sensor to capture point cloud data. This is done by using laser to measure distance from LiDAR to an object at the rate of 240,000 points per second. Now, P1, L1 and L2 camera all capture very high resolution images. L1 and L2 camera use 20 megapixel sensor which is built in and fixed. P1 camera comes with 35 mm lens and you have option of three incredible lenses which is 24 mm lens, 35 mm lens and 50 mm lens. Now let's talk about the accuracy of 5 cm vertically and 10 cm horizontally with the L1 and L2. P1 have 3 cm accuracy horizontally and 5 cm accuracy vertically. So both of these payloads are highly accurate. L2 is able to capture 2.5 square kilometer in a single flight which is crazy efficient. But again it is outgunned by P1 which is able to capture image every 0.7 seconds and map a 3 km area in a single flight. L1 and L2 have live view of their models while the P1 have to be made later on the computer so it takes while to take that information. The other task LiDAR is really being able to capture the data through tree, canopies and vegetation making it the best technology to capture topographical data like vegetation. When it comes to process the data, L1 and L2, it can take like up to four to six minutes when you transfer the data and it will create your, uh, create your model. But when it comes to P1 camera, because there are thousands of images and you need a high speed computer to process the data, it can take up to like five to 10 hours to process the data. If you are a surveyor and looking for 2D mapping or Ortho mosaic, you must go for P1 camera. But if you are looking for best 3D modeling and point cloud data with the topographical survey, you must go for L1 or L2. Let's talk about the prices and compatibility. The price of P1 camera is around 5000 USD, while the price of L2 and L1 camera is the double. It is like around 10,000 USD. And uh, compatibility, mat uh, Mattress 350 RTK and Mattress 300, all the payloads are compatible with these drones. So now you should have some idea which of these incredible payloads are for you. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Thank you.